Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and in this video we're going to talk about multiple monitor configurations. We've got a lot of questions and emails from people wondering, how do you connect multiple monitors to a computer? Why do you need multiple monitors? Obviously I have four behind me and there's a very good reason for that. We're going to cover that uh, in this video. So for those of you that have used two monitors before, know that it can really increase your productivity. The ability to have two things on the screen at one time side by side, such as a document and an internet site for when you're writing a report, or Hulu and uh, maybe instant messaging so that you can kind of watch a movie or watch a video while you're IMing is a really great thing that can help to increase productivity. Um, I've actually seen some people with 10 or 12 monitors and there's definitely a law of diminishing return in terms of productivity so there's so there's not a five times increase from two monitors to 10 monitors it just doesn't work that way. The reason that some people have you know 8, 10, 12 monitors is because they work in industries that require them to see a lot of data on the screen at one time. Perfect example is the finance industry, stock traders. They need to see many different graphs and charts and figures and, and, and items on the screen at one time to be able to do their, do their profession the right way. Um, and so the question becomes, how do you actually hook up multiple monitors? Well, it's quite easy. Um, you can have as many monitors as you have video outputs. So in my case, I've got two video cards with two video outputs. Now, you can fill up your desktop with as many video cards as it can handle, whether it's PCI, PCI Express, AGP, and plug in as many monitors as you can fit. Now, of course, you're going to want to have some, you know, a good processor, enough RAM um, to, to be able to have your computer handle all of this, but two monitors, three monitors is not that difficult for a computer to be able to handle. So what I'm going to do now is take you through exactly why I have four monitors. We're going to turn the camera around and kind of show you what's on each of my uh, four displays here so that you have an idea of how somebody with four monitors may actually make good use of that screen real estate. See you in a sec. Okay, so the two monitors on the left are both Dell 24-inch monitors with 1900 horizontal resolution and 1200 vertical resolution. That was a really important resolution to me because a lot of 20 to 24 inch monitors have actually 1080 resolution now, which is great for high definition video, but if you really want to be able to see a lot of things on the screen at one time to get that extra vertical resolution, the 1200 really makes a big difference. Now as you can see, on my left monitor is all about Twitter. I actually manage four Twitter feeds, uh, one for my personal Twitter and four for or three for various websites. On the left, I am using TweetDeck, which is an excellent program to be able to see many things about Twitter at one time. So in the center, I have my mentions. On the right, I have a group of people that I like to follow more closely than my general pool of friends over here on the left. It takes up a lot of screen space, which is why for the other th three Twitter feeds, I am using Twirl, which is a very narrow looking uh, way to look at your Twitter. There are buttons along the bottom. You can quickly go from your mentions to your direct messages all within one very tall uh, column. So it makes it really easy to manage multiple things on the screen at one time. Now the monitor in the center is the one that I actually look at the most because it's right in front of me. So I use it as my internet monitor. And what you're going to notice here is I actually have Windows 7 running. And Windows 7 doesn't have support for taskbars on multiple monitors. So I'm actually using a program called Ultramon. It actually extends the taskbar to all of your monitors. Uh, if you have multiple monitors in Windows or Windows 7, it costs $30, but I think it's tremendously worth the price because to be able to have the taskbar on multiple screens is really a great thing. Um, so I use this window for, for Internet, like I said, and I like to kind of keep it over here to the right so that I can see the icons that I have on my desktop at a given time. Um, I actually use a resizer program called Window Resizer. It's a Firefox plugin. And I can quickly go about and change the actual size of, of the window. And because this is such a high resolution screen, I really have a lot of flexibility to be able to change the resolution to pretty much what most people have. A lot of people have this resolution, 1024 by 768. Uh, the next standard would be probably 1080 by 800 and then you get to uh, 1080 by 1024. I also use this monitor for video editing because if it's right in front of me I want to be able to kind of take a look at it and be able to access it right from there. And over here on the left I have two Dell 20 inch monitors turned horizontally 
or actually turned vertically. And the reason for that uh, is very specific. I like having the extra vertical resolution, especially in Outlook, to be able to see, you know, 40, 50 emails on the screen at one time, whereas if I turn them the other way, I would probably see half of that. Now, the resolution on these monitors is 1680 down and 1050 across. So as I said, I use this monitor a lot for uh, Outlook email. I also use it for Dreamweaver, so I can take a look at website code and be able to see a lot in one take. And over here on the right, I kind of consider this my auxiliary monitor, where I can monitor my buddy list, I can play music. Um, sometimes I use it for a web page if I'm monitoring the radar, if a storm's coming, or something like that. So that was a look at my monitor configuration. Again, four monitors is probably overkill for a lot of people. Two monitors can really help a lot with productivity, but it really matters what you're using your computer for. For a lot of people, one monitor is good enough. So I hope this video was helpful in giving you some insight into how people use multiple monitors, and, and hopefully you have an idea of whether it's for you or it's not for you. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.